Welcome back to Woodchuck Creations. I'm Chuck and today I'm going to take a tree stump and make a table. A couple of months ago we had a crazy ice storm here in Oklahoma which resulted in us losing a lot of the trees on our property. Now after everything was cleaned up we ended up with this stump that was kind of in the middle of a clearing and rather than cut it out or get rid of it I decided I wanted to make something out of it or into it or something. And after a lot of consideration, I decided I wanted to turn it into a table. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to use for the top, but the tree stump was going to be the base of the table. So the first step was to mark it at the height I wanted the base to be and then use a level and some chalk to try to go around and make that line all the way around the tree stump. The next step was to use that chalk line and cut the tree stump as level as I could with the chainsaw. Now I knew this wasn't going to be exact, but I could always use shims to make it level later. Once I cut the tree stump down to the height I wanted it, I realized that the off cut could be used as a seat if I cut it to make it level, so I went ahead and cut that down. I found what I want to use for the tabletop on Marketplace. Now I just need to go pick it up. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. I've never seen it done. I've never tried it. It's just an idea. We'll see how it goes. All right, we made it out here. So let's see what we got. Making goat benches. Goat benches. Yeah. So like for milking? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just turn, you pick them up, turn them around. Okay. And yeah. uh, I'll show you up here. Uh, let me get my keys. I wasn't looking for the bench, just the, no, it's just the spool. Oh, okay. Okay, you just want one of the spools then. Yeah. All right. Well, I was going to show you the bench. But yeah, sure. Let's let's go take a look. Let's check it out. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. You sit down on them like this. You put your gun right here. Sit down. And you can shoot. Okay. Put your tripod right here and then. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. The spool guy was really cool. He showed me a lot of things he makes out of them and he helped me load the spool up into the truck with a tractor. All right, so we got the spool and we're headed back to the house. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was, so it's going to be interesting trying to uh, get it out of the truck. So he had to use the tractor to put it in and I don't have a tractor to take it out with, so uh, we'll just have to be creative. Once we got back to the house, I decided that I was going to try to use a couple of 2x4s as ramps and roll the spool out of the back of the truck. Which, it didn't go exactly as planned, but I got it out. The next step was to sand down the end I was going to use for the tabletop and that took a lot of sanding. I started off with 80 grit and sanded up to 220. The ends of the spool are held together by bolts that go through the center. This takes two people to separate them because the distance between the ends are too far for one person to reach. Well, kind of. I got around this by screwing in a lag screw next to where my socket wrench was to hold it in place on one end while I unscrewed the nut on the other end. That method worked for a couple of them, but the rest were so far rusted that I had to cut them off using an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel. The next step was to remove the lag bolts that hold this plate in that has a collar that protects the wood in the center of the spool. Once I rolled the spool end back to the tree stump and got it in place, I checked for level and screwed it in using lag screws. I did have to use some washers for spacers to uh, make it level. I also ended up painting that little plate black to keep it from rusting. To finish the project off, I put a coat of transparent waterproof sealant on the tabletop and this project was pretty much done. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. 
I hope you liked the video and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this project. I also hope it inspired you to try something a little bit different and creative of your own. And I appreciate you guys watching today and don't forget to subscribe. Don't drop your impact driver in the dirt. You'll be digging dirt out of the socket.